Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome back to My Lovely Daughter. Previously, we got the perfect daughter ending, and now we're off to get the other endings. So they keep track of things. We have a clear soul now, because he uninfused it. Let's see what's going on here. So he's been marked out, zero to a thousand. Infuse one with a dominant affinity. Is that always like that, or no? Hmm. Now, I've been hearing some people say... There's a lot more letters. There seems to be a... No one seems to really be able to pin down how many there are actually per homunculus. <laughs> but I'm noticing there's a number here. It's like one, two, three... So I'm wondering if it's like a personality set. So maybe... Each time... So I wasn't getting more than three letters per one. So maybe each time you uh, make a homunculus, you have like a personality set. That's what the number's for. It's like one, two, three. Does it go higher than that? I don't see one. So maybe some personalities are like more upbeat and some are more despairy. To give you a little bit of variance. I'm not sure. I think it goes up to nine letters possibly. So I, I may respawn one of my homunculi at one point. You know, not just to murder them on the spot. Um, like I do a tree. Or wood. Wood bait. To basically just find out, um, what goes down. So cult leader and toy maker also. Just keeping tabs and old blacksmith are the only ones left that we have not maxed out. Old blacksmith and toy maker just about there. Cult leader will fall behind. So essentially, every time we go to town, it's just, it's literally just going to be like a new dialogue trigger. Um, we can actually just about sacrifice everybody here. Because everyone's just about ready. But I'll, I'll wait till all are about level 10 and I'll just do it in one go. Let's get some money. We have plenty of money actually, but let's just go. May the Celestials bless you. Here, here's a new dialogue. You are not like the others, hon. Like me, you hide something in your heart. I saw you. I saw you when everybody else said that you were gone. You went crazy, did you not, hon? You can always share your thoughts with plants, hon. They're great listeners. Or if you prefer, you can tell me instead. What does she mean by that? Am I crazy? This is nonsense. Uh, okay. I think I'll be leaving now. We have some requests. Now, a lot of you are already maxed out. So unless I really need the money, I, I might as well just start keeping the mats to make better homunculi. So like, you need mid-quality water and you are not maxed out. And I should have mid-quality. No, oh no, I don't. Oh wait. Are any of you made of water? I think tentacles me out of water. So I could probably pull this off. Oh man. And I don't care about you. You I do. Iron and water mid quality. So we have to make sure we get two mid quality waters, the bare minimum. But I'll accept it anyways, because I do, like I said, need to specifically raise you two. And Toymaker will pop up automatically, pretty much. Alright, we got a new memoir. And it's way in the back. Ooh, what? What? Get her back, get her back. It's on my phone, it's on my fault. Liar, get her back, get her back, it's on my fault. Liar, get her back, it's on my fault. Yeah, that, that gives me plenty of lore right there. I know exactly what we're talking about. So, you are maxed out, actually. You are maxed out. You are not maxed out, but after I do the request, you might be maxed out. So, we don't really need to take villager requests, because we don't really need gold much, because we make enough. A funny life we live. And... Let's see what our homunculi lineup is. Real quick. So we have... A fear, a sadness, an anger, 
to joy, to sadness. So we could do a maxed out sadness infusion. Actually, if we want to on week four. So, well, let's knock out everyone here in one, one go. It's gonna be a slaughter. <laughs> oh my god. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Neko, you're also an adequate daughter. I'm sorry. Foster really disliked her appearance, but he endured, awaiting the correct time. Now that the moment has arrived, he wastes no time and stamps her for your heart without a second thought. I like how Foss really hates all these daughters. Like, you might get attached, but like, personality-wise, Foss like, hates them. Anime. Please don't do this, Daddy. I will be a better daughter. You, you, there was nothing wrong with you. She has a huge temper and argues with Foss constantly. Finally, the time has come and he stabs her. Still filled with rage, Foss chops off her tentacles and feeds them to wild beasts. Like, he just likes to rub it in. Like, he doesn't just put him down, he rubs it in. Coffee. Goodbye. I wonder if I'll get that horse back. It really hurts me that you're considering this. Not as much as this is gonna hurt. Her skin's made from a geyser and constantly emits bubbles of smoke. I'm able to simply kill her and leave the body anywhere. Frost murders the homunculus and dumps her body in the river. So some of them have a kind of unique one, some don't. Well, they're always unique, but they have other dynamics to them. Smokey. No, no, do not dare come in here. It's funny you're being on meat. Oh, get the fire hose out. Foss has a sense of humor. Everything she touches burns immediately. She is the most dangerous of Foss's creations. He dazzles her with water and she vanishes into a cloud of steam. Oh god, young she. Is this for the best and do it, daddy? She's always jumping from one place to another. Her movements irritate him and he cannot wait to kill her. Now the moment has come. He stabs her to death and feels happiness at seeing her jumping stop. I think he hates him. He hates every single one of them. Doesn't matter how nice they are. And we are ready for a never ending right off the bat. Under the most dire of circumstances. No less. Oh god. Well, well, wow, we didn't get any water mid quality. That is bad. He's gonna be upset. Oh, it doesn't drop that much. Worst case scenario. We only got one. We're getting a bit more higher quality parts than anything else. That upsets me. Well, let's make some new homunculi. And we will be using high quality parts off the bat. We could. Oh god, we have to do this again. Oh no. There's only one way to solve this request in time. We have to. Well, I don't have any mid quality water. I would have to. Oh no. I gotta use up the free mid -qu high quality waters. And then. Do a sacrifice off the bat. We'll... We'll use Tentacle. Because you got a little bit... You do, you are comprised of water. I can't kill Mermaid again. It's too soon. Alright, Calamari. You go right there, ignore the blood. Goodbye.
Daughter murdering economy. Oh, I just ruined the fear thing. Whoops. I gotta lower it now. But I can do the request. We'll use high quality parts. Soon I'll have her back. I love my game. So that's a joy. Maybe we'll do two joys, and then we'll go for the joy ending next. I'll make a new mermaid, actually. Of curiosity. Oh wait, I made new ice. Whoops. I forgot my, 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 my recipes. This was mermaid. <laughs> Alright, test run. And let's make some actual new people. Now that I remember my recipes, we need a fear? We need a sadness. Soon I will have her back. You're like a raggedy hen, scarecrow. There we go. That ought to do. And we need a fear. No, that was a fear. Wasn't it? Let's check. That is a fear. So now we need a sadness. Let's see how much we mix and match. We'll be like halfway leveled. Yeah, it is. Okay, so you can mix and match. Level 6. Soon I'll have her back. Alright, Mickey. And we have new daughters. Time to visit each individual one. Good day to you. And give you things. Are you really my father? I mean, are you really my father? No. <laughs> this gift is too nice. Do I really deserve this? If there's something wrong with me, something's got to give. Alright, so I've actually maxed all of them all out in affection right off the bat. Let's see how that works out for us. And let us go to work. Oh, you're a lifesaver. This celestial's blade. Bless you. Clank. You interaction. You know what? Your creatures have helped me a lot. Clank. Even when they're only blobs moving around. So, I'll tell you a secret. Clank. In this metal, clank. Reminds me of the day I bashed in the head of my wife and her lover. Ha ah, ah, ha ah, ah. ha ha. What blob creatures? How my homunculi are like humans in shape? Well, it does not matter as long as he pays. No worries. My homunculi will always be ready to help you. And I think everyone's maxed out, so there's no reason to really do requests anymore. It's just a matter of making money. Memoir. What do we get? June 22nd, the intensive training I received this week has opened my eyes to the uses of sorcery and alchemy. Today I am my first homunculus, a living creature born from alchemy, using only natural ingredients. The key is to focus the magical power inside those ingredients for ritual using a symbolic circle. The homunculus can drive off pests, help with cleaning and even process the raw material for food. I'm willing to sell it for some hot cash. And we got letters. A lot of them. First... Mbasa. Mm, 
Look, a new one. Yeah, so they are different letters. Hi, old man. Why are you toying with me? I want to thank you for providing me water. But I know that you want something more from me. So stop playing around. Join me in the tub and we can play and get wet together. Yeah, I've been waiting for you. Yeah, no. Hello, old man. You keep toying with me. Lately, you haven't even started ignoring me. I'm not like the others. I know that we are not related. I know that there is something you hide from all of us. You do not need to tell them. Just tell me and I promise I will not tell the others. Hello, old man. You're such a horrible man. But I kind of like that. Oh, no. I know what you did. I know what you've done to the others. But I am sure you will not treat me the same. Because I have something they do not. I have something that will fulfill your deepest desires. Why is it the mermaid? How are you, father? I'm so happy to see you today. Yeah. Get lost. So that's type 1. Type 3... ...is the one that's like envious of the other sisters. So I guess it's because like inevitably there's a good chance you might have overlap in the daughters you raise. So you, um... At least that's where you get some variants. Yeah, that was type 1 again. I wonder if it's random. Dear Dad, thank you for treating me with care. It seems that all sorts of bugs want to live in my body. To make matters worse, I can understand them. They never stop talking. I hope you do not hate me for all of this. I'm beginning to think that it's not the bad. Not that bad to have these bugs living in my body. I've even started naming them. My favorite one is Bugsy. Aww. He's very cute and loves to eat his food inside the ragged parts of my body. Dear Dad, the bugs told me what happened to my sisters. I cannot believe that you did that. After all this time and all the hard work we have done for you, please do not treat me the same way. It's okay if you want to remove the bugs. Let's see. Hello, Papa. When they, our outsiders our outsides not tell a whole story. I'm a classic girl and I won't wait, I forgot. Your name is Mickey. Our outsides do not tell a whole story. I am a classy girl, and only eat classy cheese. These claws and whiskers may fool the lower class town folk. But they are barely above the class of slum residents. Do not be like them. The mouse demands. Hello, Papa. I try to be strong, but there are no classy people in the entire village. No one can see how special I am inside. It's so hard to be here. Can we move to the city, Papa? The people of the city must be of better quality, please, Papa. Hello, Papa. I thought you cared about me when you gave me my nicer clothes. I thought they might show the villagers something about me. But I see that now they're only cast-offs. Why would I want to wear my sister's old clothes? It's a disgrace. Where did my sister go anyway, Papa? You want something interesting to read? Book of Fables? And Insector X. You like puzzles. Get the status up. Got nothing else to spend money on. Hello, Daddy. My wings finished growing today. They're still weak, but I was able to fly upon, up into a wall. From there, I could look into many windows. I saw one village with the cooking and never sharpening knives. It's fun to look in on people. Hello, Daddy. I was stripping my wings today, flying into different walls when I spot something strange. Two people were in bed, even though it was still daytime. But they were fighting, but then they seemed happy. Oh, the oh no. You didn't see anything in Sector X. My wings are finally strong enough to fly home today, and when I arrived, I saw a little girl through the window of our house. I've never seen her before. Who is she, Daddy? Oh, she's sleeping during the day. Is she sick? Is she why you need so much help? You keep coming here. Do you suspect something? You're much more fun when you first moved to your new house and never went out. Now you act just like when you were poor. Pushing people door to door. Thank you. I'll try to be more fun the next time we meet. Meanwhile, why not try locking yourself in your room? But that could be a lot of fun. Oof, look at that. That's sass. Alright, do my errands. Treat. Check out a new memoir. June 8th. These black-haired shamans heartlessly turned down my pleas. No wonder they were expelled from the capital. My wife's condition has worsened and the illness has also spread to my daughter. I am broke, penniless, and totally in hell. 
Is this the end of our lives? So let's make a little more chronological sense. We can never do one here. It's been a long time since I last wrote something here. I decided to move on from my old life and begin new. So I built a new house for us up on the hill. It's quite far from the slums where we lived before. Since that time, my daughter has fully recovered. is even livelier than she ever was. Life is finally looking up for us. I'm planning to reopen my homunculi business here. Hopefully everything will go well this time, which it never did. So, just in case I mess something up by having that little fraction there, because I don't know how I get rid of that. Exactly. We're actually going to get rid of the sadness one. And we're just going to max out fear instead. So, let us burn some ice cream bowls. And... That's not the 500. Okay. And we're gonna actually have to... Sacrifice. Sadly. We have to sacrifice hay, like already. Goodbye. <laughs> no, 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 what's the problem to do? Please stop. We're just going for these dars like crazy now. Her rag body attracts many beetles. Not wanting to take the chance of any insects bring down the rooms of the house. He takes a torch and burns her to ashes. They use the flame for flame daughter. And we need to make a new fear, homunculi. Carapace. Into turtle? Soon now I have her back. Alright, Donatello. Welcome to the place. Hello, father. Hello, father! That's better. Yeah, have some... Have some gifts. I'm gonna start working. And the next week we can do some stuff. I think you're the solution, Mr. Frost. I remember that my sales slowed down after you went missing. It was because I did not have one of your girls to help me. So I was less productive than before. Now that you're back in business, I will be too. I'm glad I able to help your business. You'll make a fortune to help on my homunculi. And time to do our errands. Okay, there's not much to keep track of. I might do a few requests here and there for a little extra side cash for the hell of it. But aside from that, it's it's a straight shot. New memoir. And we're on week four. So we can do an infusion. July 14th, the homunculus business is doing great. It's much better than selling potions. Potions. The money I've gathered is just enough to purchase ingredients and healing potions for my wife and daughter. It's crossed my mind to ask for the Master Warlock's help, but relying on such dark power in their lives right stick seems a dangerous idea. So we will do an infusion. Soon. But let's do our request really quick. Get our new letters from Donatello. He's already almost level 10. Hello, father. I was feeling so down today, planning a long thing on how they heavy burn my shells like the heavy burner of life. Then dogs start barking, and I was so afraid I put myself in my shell. Now I know why my shell is my refuge. Now I know my rather. Hello, father. I found a dark alley with tasty smells today, and I was enjoying my time alone when an angry old man started yelling at me. Though he could not hurt me in my shell, I felt scared by his voice. But now on, I want to spend some more time in my room at home. Are you supposed to be fear? Well, I guess you're scared. Hello, father. My sisters keep trying to talk to me. I think they're scared. Maybe you should make them shells too. Then they can stop pestering me and find peace alone in the darkness. Oh, that sounds unusually edgy for you. Oh yeah, what's your unique gift you like? You like horses. 
Let's see what happens. The instant her eyes open, she jumps backward and falls down. She trembles uncontrollably on the floor. It is clear that she is hysterically frightened by Faust's presence. Oh, that's how she views him as. Unless that is how he looks. Paranoid about everything, she continually tries to escape. However, the fear which consumes her foils her every attempt. Faust ends up keeping her in a cage while he attempts to think of a solution to her phobia. Sadly, he does not find one. Foss comes to consider the experiment of failure. He extracts the soul from her body and puts it back into the soul chamber. And that is the fear ending. So now, we have two joys, so we will go for the joy ending. Actually, I should have sacrificed my daughters and then there. They're all useless to me. Well, I'll have them, like, do some, make some money at least. So I need to request new interaction. I saw your eyes before. They used to glow with pride. But the day you lost your wife, it vanished. You could tell your days, you keep innovating. But your eyes, they never glow anymore. You see, you're similar. The potion I stole from you did not heal my mother. She died, and now I'm just like you. A guy with dead eyes. What? She died? What happened? I... I have to hide my surprise. Sorry. I need to go. My wife, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. And let's lay off their quest for now. Well, actually, no. Fear is not fully leveled. Foss is distraught. Tears roll in his eyes. He cannot believe that he let his wife die. He glances at his daughter. He swears that he will never leave her to suffer the same fate as her mother. He wipes his tears and focuses again on bringing his daughter back. No more. Yesterday my wife said to me about how weak she felt. Now I should be more caring toward our little girl. I told her not to force herself and she needed more rest, so she rested her head on my shoulder. But she never woke up. Death took her away as she put her last smile on my, my embrace. Only my daughter stands between me and my desire to end this miserable life. That's when it's gonna begin life anew. Hmm. I'm gonna do errands. Soon, my dear. Is that a chicken? It is. Well. It's time to, uh, get to work. Sorry, everyone. See you in another life, Daddy. Goodbye, Insector X. She realizes that she's going to be killed. Anticipating it, her instincts make her fly around randomly. Foss simply sprays insect poison into her room, and she slowly weakens and dies. I told you, he has like a sense of weird humor. So how do I kill the, the insect daughter? Oh, I know. And we're killing you again. Oh, here we go again, mermaid. At least we have two tridents now. And we also confirmed our theory about more letters being there. Donatello, it's been radical. Please do not do this, Daddy. I'll be a better daughter. He looks innocent, 
Foss knows that she is a heartless crustacean, eats anything and sometimes crashes his house. Foss takes a mace and hits her until her shell breaks apart. Goodbye, Mickey. Your movies are terrible now. You just rely on Marvel. Oh, okay, see, look, the cheese. Really, Faust? Faust was amazed to see one of his creations had rodent characteristics. He's happy when it's time to kill her, poisoning her like any other rodent before feeding her soul to his daughters. Alright, now we just need to get to week four. So we have done fear, we will do joy. Then we'll have Sadness and Anger. So let's double stack and Anger Daughters, actually, or Sadness Daughters. And then the rest will be singular. Time to start making homunculi! Soon I will have her back. You look kind of like a Digimon. I'm not going to make an Undertale reference, don't think about that. We ain't that square in here. We think of something more clever. Like... Flower. Yeah. That's clever. Soon I will have her back. God, I like something out of a... Metropolis. Robocop. And let's make another anger one. We're actually gonna do a throwback. You don't have any high quality clay, so you'll be a little under leveled, but you'll level up soon enough. Soon I'll have her back. What did I call the first mud daughter I had? Oh, I don't bloody remember. Then remember. There are two angers here. Now we need sadness and fear. Soon I will have her back. You, you, you were... Meat, meat, meat makes meat. Alright, T-Bone. Of course, the meat would have anxiety. They'd be fear-based. And we need a sadness. Soon I will have her back. Nice rock. Yes. All right, Mick Jagger. We have all of our daughters assembled. Time to do the relationship stuff. Good day to you. Good day to you. You are all about that joy. Got the joy deep, deep into our hearts. You know what? I feel that we are the same. I have my pets and you have your gals. Ha 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 yeah, we are the same. As a weird lady. And time to do jobs. Fear. Anger. Well, one of the angers, anyway. Another day. 
Is there any memoirs from that dialogue? Oh, that was a mid-dialogue. Because we haven't only gone, uh... We've been like... Your dialogue's been getting pushed back by everyone else. That... The pet person has not gone for their second dialogue set. Neither has a cult leader. Toymaker's been really pushed back. Time to go through all these letters. First up, flower. Let's see what special gift you like, though. You want a book. We do have one for you, but I might not have enough for everyone else. Hi, Dad. I like how you say that I made you think of every spring. Everything is fresh and new in spring, and I can feel life is full of promise. I look forward to working hard to make our beautiful summer. Hi, Dad. Thank you for telling me about your daughter. I know you feel like your life is in winter now, but for me, I feel like summer is here. I hope we can spend many more days together and I can share my feelings of sunny days with you. Hi, Dad. All flowers fade in the end. The seasons change and nothing lasts forever. Some of my sisters are afraid of entering the cycle of rebirth, but I am not. I wish you a lovely life with your daughter. All the joy ones, for the most part, are really nice. Listen, I might have murdered one of you in the past, but it's okay now. It's okay, you like horses. Hey, Dad. Walking to the village is hard for me. So easy to leave parts of myself behind, and the weather can be troublesome when it rains. You better take good care of me after all this work I do for you. Hey, Dad, the village women are so strange. I spend all day worrying about the leaving pieces of myself behind and all they talk about is how to lose some of themselves. Can you imagine? Maybe you should move us somewhere less full of foolish people. Because they're not made out of mud. Hey Dad, I heard my sister's worrying about whether you love us. I do not care about your feelings, I only care about having a nice room to myself. I keep hearing my sisters crying. You need to do something about father. I need home to be peaceful. Start burdening them in a little more quiet manner, please. Robocop. You want puzzles. Hello, Dad. I have the greatest strength. I do all, do all labor by myself. You should tell my sisters I've stay quietly at home and leave the work to me. The town is dangerous, but no one can hurt me. Hello, Dad. My sisters are starting to get my nerves. Why do you keep them around? No one can work as hard as I can. Even the gangs and the slums leave me alone. Everyone knows I'm the strongest. It should be only you and me from now on. Hello, Dad. The fear of my sisters is really starting to bother me. Apparently, they are afraid of you. Ha! Such silly creatures. As if you could hurt me. Let's get rid of them, and that will work, and you can take care of the house. Ooh. Betrayal. Hey, meat. I mean, T-Bone. What unique gifts do you like? You want music. Hi, Daddy. When I go into the village, I feel as though everyone is staring at me. It makes me so uncomfortable. Why are they all staring, Daddy? They're hungry. Sadly enough. Hi, Daddy. Before I was worried about the villagers, but now I'm certain. They're all plotting against me, Daddy. Maybe they all want to eat me. Please do not make me go back to work there. Kind of happens when you may have steaks. Hi, Daddy. It's not only the villagers who are plotting against me. Now I know it's you, too. You must want to eat me just like they do. How could you, Daddy? I've worked so hard. Spare me. And Mick Jagger. What unique gift do you want, and do we have it? You want horses. Perfect. Everyone has gifts we have. Hi, Daddy. Enjoyed playing with you. I don't know why, but my sisters do not want to be too close to me. Maybe it's because they're so small and weak. But I will not hurt them. I just wish for some more company. Hi, Daddy. It seems that not only my sisters are free, they're also villagers. They should know that I only stepped in that mouse by accident. It's not like I would crush one of their children. Next letter. I crush one of their children! Hi, Daddy. I think I'll only play outside from now on. That crack in the floor is my fault. I would not let it happen again, Dad. I'll be very careful from now on. 
Please not be angry with me. I'm already so lonely. I did not want you to avoid me too. No, actually, no, you're pretty chill all the way around. Alright, we are set with these sets of daughters, and it's just a matter of grinding to a week for... I like you, I like you. You're no longer the stupid guy with stupid potions. Now you're the best guy of the best creatures. Yeah, you look stupid because... Why can't I remember the reason? I need to say something. Because of my skill, I could have done better. Smooth. Frost rests for a while. He tries to remember all the moments he has forgotten. What is that on the right? His wife's sickness, his meeting with his master warlock, and his first summoning of a homunculus. How do they all relate to one another? Yeah, I can see what they mean. The homunculus were different before. As he begins to grasp the connection between these events, the book glows intensely. It calls to him, desires him to read it. Even before Frost reaches the book, his memories have already begun to flow. Memories about the pledge he made to the Master Warlock. The pledge that would change his life forever. Here we go. We got a little more line up now. So this is before this one. My potion business is not working. People in this blasted village prefer going to shamans and dark alchemists buying my potions. Potions. What a bunch of fools. How can they entrust our health to dark magic and dirty ingredients? This place is wretched. I have to find another strategy. Thankfully, my wife seems to have come to an understanding of our condition. Is only my little girl who still cannot accept our situation. Hang in there, child. I will fight this life for you. There's never one. I made a pact with the Master Warlock. He promised to share his knowledge, skills, and recipes with me for the price of my own blood, which he will take after my life here is settled. I suspect that he's up to something terrible, but I am in no position to really question his motives. We will meet again tomorrow and begin my lessons in witchcraft. We have a blank here. Blank there. Blank there. And if we check the villagers real quick... The ones that still have not talked to us... This is the cult leader. And the toy maker has, still has two social links that have not automatically triggered. So at least three more weeks worth of social link pop-ups. Per se. <laughs> the empty store is starting to get to me. I am making these toys as part of my redemption. Regardless, people think that I have ulterior motives. My one titanium bot did. But I think keeping the store open is pointless. I would just take orders and set out the toys instead. Not mind if you do not open your store. But I'm sure that you will still need my homunculi help with your work. During his experiment, a memory flashes into his mind. Hurriedly, he halts what he's doing and focuses on remembering. Another memory of him interacting with the Master Warlock begins to resurface. He remembers bringing his sick wife to the Master Warlock. See number one like connecting ones? Yeah, here we go. In desperation, I brought my wife and daughter to the Master Warlock. He told me that my wife's soul had become faint and that she was bound to die soon. <sighs> what was he thinking, bloating jinxes in front of her face like that? After saying this, he insisted on helping me cure my daughter's illness. He gave me a handful of suspicious looking powder and told me to make potions with it. Potions. Which must be drunk regularly. But now I can only hope for the best for them both. And I'm dying in the end. So now we just need some time for him to fill in what happened after the wife's passing. And we can also do the infusion. So I'll do my errands. Infuse! She's brought to life. She rolls on the floor laughing. 
Hers was not only the laughter of joy, but also of fear, sadness, and anger. She laughs all the time, interspersed only by small hiccups. Whatever her feelings, she expresses through laughter, oh my god. Toofy smiles and manic grins. To Fa, she seems like an asylum resident, suffering from a chronic mental illness rather than a truly happy girl. Foss comes to consider the experiment of failure. He extracts her soul from her body and puts it back into the soul chamber. Well, that was never a failed one. So next, we said we were doing anger. And then it would be sadness, and then it would be each one at half, which would be also equally easy. So basically, it's just a marriage game for the weeks, and then knocking off our current lineup of daughters, which we're about to do now. Goodbye, everyone. I will miss all of you. Robocop. She destroys the floor because of her overwhelming weight. Possibly lures her to the lake, pushes her down, lets gravity seal her fate. Ugh, gotta get rid of another Ryu. So weird. How does blood even bleed? I suppose it's symbolic blood. If you would call it that. See so you never left, Daddy. Later. Fossils have to be patient because she cannot stay long inside the house. You need to live in the soil most of the time. He's glad it's time to kill her. He's already prepared kerosene and burns with the ashes. T-Bone. Foss is happy that the homunculus resembles a human without skin. But no matter what, he will get back his daughter. So he cuts her with a cleaver. Then he uses the leftover meat. Mick Jagger. She destroys everything with a master stone of hands. Foss does not like this behavior. When the time comes, he ties her up with a metal chain while she's asleep and throws her into the river. He really dumps a lot of his daughters in that river. And now we gotta just make new daughters. So now we're doing anger, the only one that we have left is sadness. Soon I will have her back. Sand. Oh, you're an hourglass. This is gonna be one of those kind of very ironic names in about four weeks. And we're gonna bring you back for the third time. We're actually gonna get you our, your letters. All right, third time. Two sentences will be there, and we need our joy, fear, and anger. Soon I'll have her back. What are, what are you? Well, I guess I won't go hungry. Alright, salad bar. Ooh, no, that smile, yeah, no. So I think I've actually summoned all unique homunculi. Except for these, but... I don't want to quite get into those just yet, because I think they give you a lot less stuff. They're not too good. Like, I only want to purposely summon some failed ones. I'll worry about that later. We'll summon a new mummy. 
get some new dialogue out of you. And we need a fear. So now that we have basically summoned all the main daughters, aside from like new text. Um, we're gonna see a lot of jump skips in the future parts, and it's very well we might finish this video series in one more video. Alright, chop chop. <laughs>